Welcome everybody to this episode of the Pokemon whatever we are doing saga log and in today's episode we get to tackle some fun things because well 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 in this day we had a craziness happen okay um we were trying to fix some lag issues blah 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 because the game was lagging and it was frustrating the crap out of me so i did a couple things to try and fix the lag um, my GPU hates the crap out of me right now, but it's fine, guys. It's whatever. My GPU can hate me all at once. It's gonna have to deal with it, okay? It's gonna straight up deal with it. No, honestly, though, it's actually insane. Because you look at it, and you're like, there's absolutely no freaking way that it's this way. And then you realize it is that way, and you're like, bro, what happened? The time! What the heck? Why are things getting old already? And then, then you have like, it's insane! Like, it should not, things should not be getting old already! And they are, and it's like, bruh. So, why am I getting into this random topic? Well, yeah, I was triggered last episode because of the freaking lag. So, I got triggered for you, because it was like both on a couple planes. It was, oh, I don't think I'm ever going to be, oh, can I pass it maybe? No. Dude, that hitbox is ridiculous. Um, But yeah, so it was, it was kind of ridiculous having to kind of figure out what the heck to do in onyx has imposter because what okay onyx just you do you i guess it's fine um uh you know oh my gosh five thousand onyxes here we come apparently oh anyways yeah, so we should probably do a team recap because the team changed a lot since the last episode. But, you know, with the Pokemon just being out in the not wild anymore, it makes that difficult. It makes that ridiculously difficult. It should not be, but, you know, apparently it is. Guys, it's your first trainer. You should fight him. No, we have a team recap to do. So, first, we have to romp with the moves of... Um, or Oblivious with the moves of Strength Sap, Chop Kick, Throw Chop, Spore. Yay, Oblivious, Heat Wave, Shell Side Arm, Sparkling Aria, Lands Wrath. Uh, Tawant with Steel Worker, Aromatherapy, Strength Sap, Snap tra Trap, Glassy gr Grassy Glide. Fruition, because I speak random things into Fruition with Weak Armor. Spectral Thief, Teeter Dance, Psycho Boost, Synchronize. Didn't really want to learn anything good. And nor did our boy Dollar General with <laughs> Poison Sting Hail, Fake Out, and Ice Fang. I don't know why this thing is named Dollar General, okay? I I, I just thought about it being called Dollar General, and so therefore it was. <laughs> the Pokemon named Dollar General. Because, you know, it's Dollar General. You got to get all your good stuff there, apparently. Um, yeah, that was that was the most probably one of my more random names. But okay, guys, we need Dollar General to learn actual moves. So, if you guys don't mind, he's going to be in the front of the party because he needs his move slots. Because this man does not have shoot for moves. Especially with him being the nature he is. Adamant nature, uh, modest nature with only a physical attacking move. Because why not? Honestly, like, it's the best, isn't it? So anyway, we're going to do the with a stupid weird switch trainee thing because this game has a problem called um hi guys i'm forced to have the experience share on yas so essentially when i'm training what i'm gonna have to do it's ridiculous so get prepared is continually switch i'm going to straight up have to flip flop flop a doodle my party to train up it's like, bruh. Or I use rare candies with, like, the Dynamax candies. And no, I'm not doing that. Um, especially when a game level's, like, quick. There's no reason. Dollar General and Fruition both leveled up. Fruition wants to learn Barrier, which, honestly, we should do. Um, I'm going to get rid of Synchronize. Yeah, I'm getting ready to synchronize. Barrier seems like a decent move to learn. Also, I'm seeing all this, like, once this move is forgotten, you can't learn it back again. Is that actually a thing? Like, are we actually going to see moves that are deleted from the game? Is that what it is? 
Because if we're actually just able to see moves that were deleted from the game, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be mad more so on the accord of, bruh, they deleted it from the game, but they actually didn't delete it from the game, and they were just cheap asses, and that's going to make me mad. <laughs> yeah, them lying would make me mad. Are you surprised? Are we actually in any way surprised by that, though? They lied about it, and it's actually inside the game's code, but they just were like, no, we don't have it. It's fine. Like, I'll be extremely triggered if that's what it is, but... If it actually can't be relearned, it means that it's not necessarily supposed to be here in existence, and then I'd be happy and fine. A big distinct difference between the two situations. Also, hey, Azalf, um, you want to, like, um, be good? I think you can be good. Peck. That was great. That... That was actually really great. What am I saying? Our defense fell, but our speed rose. That was actually perfect. Wait. <gasps> Why can't... I can't actually use them, because they're... Yeah, no. They straight up aren't part of the game, but you can learn them. Oh, no. Well, that complicates a lot of matters, then. Because I can be catching Pokemon that just have moves that they can't actually use. What do I do about that? I don't know. Well, we'll figure it out. The AI will use moves that they can learn. But yeah, because is that what it says for both of those? Is that the only moves that have it, too? This move can't be used. It's recommended that this move is forgotten. Once forgotten, this move can't be re-remembered. Yeah. Wow. Why doesn't it get rid of those moves, then? Weird. Uh, like, what's the point in having them? If they literally cannot be used. Hi, Cresselia. You, you might actually... They might actually struggle out like the psychic types. I mean, hey, at least it was truth. Yeah, there's absolutely no fight. No point in fighting. Unless I'm using freaking fruition to fight them. I mean, they might, like I said, they might struggle out. And honestly, if they do that, that's not, I guess, that's not fun. Although, I swear, if I see the AI using barrier and cheating, I'll be pissed. Also, the fact I can't use psycho boost is ridiculous, but it's fine. It is what it is. It's gonna, like I said, it's gonna create some interesting things. Like, Why doesn't it get rid of that? The Krasma? Bruh, no, we're staying in. Because I feel like it should just get rid of it. Like, auto get rid of it. Oh, we got a crit. Okay, I was going to say. But yeah. Anyways, how are you guys' day been? Because obviously, my day, this, we got, hopefully we fixed the issue that we had. Because it's. We just got to keep that momentum and keep that hope alive that we did fix it. Because if we did, great. Tawant wants to learn Facade. Yes, if I can. Yes. Okay. Yes. Facade is not a bad move. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Aromatherapy for it. I'm not seeing a use for it. Dollar General. Everybody's just leveling up. Everybody's like, we're going to level up now. Okay. Okay, guys. <laughs> go for it. The Salandits over here. Look there, there's the professor. Have you unveiled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomena yet? Oh, goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hope that my granddaughter would take over research, but...
Dear me, I'm so sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now, let's head indoors. This is, So, yeah. So, this is where it's... Oh, wait. No. Why, Hop, dear? I see Wulu has made some friends. And you must be John. I trust that you've received the Pokedex from Sonia. I'm sure you'll complete it in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing now, right? Professor Magnolia has been doing some research into Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. It takes proper understanding to do the full thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. There you go again, Leon. I was talking about Pokemon. Blah, 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 blah. You already know. Like, different types of tea. Hey, Professor. Do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee that he should endorse us for the Chim Challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and John only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads that I don't know yet. Deary, I thought your dream was to have everyone in Galar become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. Ugh, my goal is that precisely the reason I give them the Pokemon in fact. Oh my god, why do you call me out like that? Right then, is that the case? How about this? Let's see if you two can show me such a brilliant battle, and I'll be left with no choice but to endorse you. And I don't worry, I'll make sure you both of your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. I would love it to just be like, I wipe the floor with Hop, Hop can't get endorsed, and he doesn't exist the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, poor Hop! I slandered the man! Hurry up! I gotta battle for the endorsement! No. You know what? Let's just not battle, because you just made me mad. No, honestly, though, our team is so weird. I don't know. I Like I said, I don't like it. I don't like the experience thingamadoodle. Um, speaking of the experience thingamadoodle, to want... Or to want, or to want. Which one am I leading with? I'm leading with to want. I trust to want. To want is scary to trust at the current moment. <laughs> I mean, it's the truth, guys. I don't know what to do about that. It's fine. Now, he's not going to have six yet because he's not considered important yet, which is poor Hop, but also not poor Hop. He kind of deserves not to be considered important right now. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle. Listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learned from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me, a good, in this, show me a good things in this battle. For... It's time for my legend to begin. No, it's not. You're going to have two Pokemon. It's going to be fine. We're going to be chill. You might have three, actually. Yeah, three. Okay, we're going to lead with a Shalgon, which does not bother me, actually. If you really wanted to bother me, Shalgon was not the way to do it. I, have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team have, so uh, let's see. Yeah, um, dog. You need to be better than what you're being right now, honestly. Shellgon does not threaten me. And you know what? I'm going to let it not threaten me. I'm actually going to stay in. I'm going to put you to sleep. And I'm going to just have fun. I'm going to have fun beating the Shellgon. Ba 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 I honestly I don't know what to do with the Shogun. It just makes the sleep animation, which I don't know. Also, the fact that literally they're chilling right there is sketch. Leon, Magnolia, you guys don't need to be chilling right there. I've never noticed that they actually chill just right there in the cutscene. Aftermath. Great, that's going to be the only damage that you do to me, Hop. Congratulations. You did damage, buddy. Woo! You did it. Dude, I'm being so mean. But he deserves it, okay? Colossal. This is the Pokemon I talked about being scared of. Because this... Oh, okay. Well, at least you have the Pokemon I talked about being scared of. Because, if I recall correctly, this is, like, the rock and fire, like, Gen 8 Mon. Right? 
Yeah, it is that dude. Okay. See, my brain is kind of working. Oh, I have Land's Wrath. That's 100% accurate. I don't know why I did that. That was dumb of me. Land's Wrath would have been a better choice to avoid. Wow, it seems you've really learned your type matchups. Honestly, dude, it's not that hard. Just use Google. Google really helps, okay? The great Google box will tell you all the ways. Blastoise. Um, I did allow Megas, so I'm not too thrilled with that one. Although I think I'm gonna go with Tarant. This is this is where Tawant is. Tarant and Tawant. Tawant is good with defensive and being like chill and being. So I'm gonna go with my chill Tawant. It'll be a close one. This is exactly the sort of match I was looking for. A close one. You literally did no damage. Okay. You straight up so far have only done aftermath damage. You're gonna do damage here. You better because if you don't, you're gonna be freaking ridiculous. Um, but. And if you don't, if you manage to do no points of actual damage, yeah, y'all, you shouldn't be endorsed. If H Hop is getting favoritism, okay, because Hop did, literally did no actual damage to me, okay? But because he's freaking Leon's brother, he's getting favoritism. That's not how that's supposed to work. Come on, guys. I'm so gutted that I lost. Yeah, because your team sucks absolute donkey butt. The string of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess I'm gonna have to going through a key or going through both is the key to getting stronger, right? I mean, yes, but also. John Hop, after a seeking a match like that or seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have no choice but endorse you both for the champions challenge. Yeah, favoritism at its finest. Here's your letter of endorsement. Oh my gosh, guys. We're endorsed by Leon. Oh my goodness. Hop's about to literally be a problem now. <laughs> no, that's literally what's going to happen. Hop's going to be no problem at all. Not at all, like for a long while. And then he's going to just be an issue. And you're just like, Hop didn't need to exist, buddy. It's fine. Didn't need to be here. But okay, I guess you did need to be here. But. Honestly, like, what's the point, Hop? What is the friggin' point? So. Oh my gosh, we're gonna train up together. Oh my goodness. Uh, hop -a doodle I'm so thrilled for us. I'm extremely thrilled for us. We're gonna do so good together. Would you look at that? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one for yourself. You obtained wishing star. Put the wishing star in your key bag items area. A stone found in the Gala region with a mysterious power. It's said to make your dreams come true if you find one. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax! Yes! So happy! Okay, buddy. Don't need to be worried about that. Trust you to pull off or trust you to pull something like this they say wishing stars fall down for those who have true wish in their heart you know i'll be the greatest trainer ever i will be the greatest trainer ever i will be the greatest trainer like ever there is sarah i said it three times so surely my race will come true right no i'm here so it won't don't be silly hop those wishing stars are comprised of curious sort of rocks containing unknown power they are one of the most precious resources in the galar region but they don't won't do a thing for you in this state Give them to me now, and I'll have you sorted. All right. You've had done the heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, haven't you? Then please give me and John the power to Dynamax. First, we got to battle the, a mad Pokemon of the slumbling wild. Now this, it really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Seems they came back at the right time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot. 
Why don't you have some dinner? You must be hungry. I've totally been obsessed with making these things tonight. Whatever curry you're going to make. Have fun with your curry making skills. And then she's going to heal us up. That's fine. I'll take the healing. Healing's not bad. It's morning. Time for our adventure to truly begin. Fine. I guess we're going to start. But what if I don't want to start my adventure, guys? Adventures are scary. You got a Dynamax band. Wow. Now we can hone the power that we're never going to use in this Nuzlocke because I banned it. Y'all knew it was happening, let's be honest. Let me use a broken ability. I think that's a great idea. I love using broken sh all the time. Honestly, my Pokemon are broken enough, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, okay? We gotta be real here. My Pokemon have been broken enough for a while. Y'all killed Consolosteela, which was the smart choice, like I said last episode. So, yeah. I also don't know what Magnolia just said we're doing, but okay. I'm assuming we're just going back. Yep. Oh, one that last thing before we race, I've seen that you I've got some great advice for you. See You know how some Pokemon are wandering about the tall grass? Yeah. If they move real slow and crouch down, these Pokemon won't pay a notice to you. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, they'll sure to catch your attention. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this need a fail proof trick. Press the left stick. That's not how it's done in my thing. Try it out. No. No. We can't because we can't use them, Hop. So you, that your great advice was absolutely pointless and you just deserve to uh, go home now. Because I don't need your advice because your advice literally did no good. So also your, advo your advice brought a Pokemon that didn't exist in the map. So um, yeah. So Yay. What are you doing? You're only allowed to be in my possession. No, you're not allowed to just be chilling in the grass. I'm joking. Honestly, Yay needs to be let out sometime. Yeah, per, I want it. Oh, my God. That, dude, it's going to be so funny watching me just be like, oh, my God, I want this. I need this. This is something I want in my life constantly. Oh, my God. Wait, there is actually a Shootle here. Wait, is there like, is it like mixing um, the IRLs and the not IRLs. I think it might be doing that. That's actually funny if it is. Like, it's starting to, like, mix things together. Yeah, see, now we're slogging again, which is a bit... This is, that's been, um, a bit of a cause for concern. Because, yeah, we're in an area that we literally have already been to, and... It's... I mean, it is 25 minutes in. It's not like it's a bad time for it to start slogging, but... Um, let's get in the train station, because the train station will be happy. Um, and get our final one, I think. I think that is where we should end it. See? Oh, yeah, see, there you go. You, I... Come on, John, you'll never beat me to the train station at this base. You're right, because I'm slogging again, and it's making me mad. Also, we can go to the wild area now, so maybe, like, Dude Lee will actually give me our Pokemon being on the episode there. Yeah, that actually, hopefully, because we have access to the wild area. Because he said go to the wild area and then come back. So now we have access to the wild area. And as we really have to go there and come back, literally. So out with it, how many did you catch? I got a really special one, and you got not one. What were you doing this whole time? If you're going to get a team, if you're going to want a team, if you're, you're going to want a team if you're a trainer... I have a team of six now, and here's Joy's favorite TM. Okay, just give me Joy's favorite TM, it's fine. An attack that never misses. It's a technical machine, a TM meet. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move and a flash, and you can use them again and again, too. The one can, well, that one can teach the move Swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. Did it actually, like, replace it? The gym challenge will begin at Monosto, and our trainer's waiting, so let's go. Let's go in the train station, because it'll actually reset my frames. Because <laughs> for some reason, this area resets my frames. Not quite so fast, you two. Girl, what do you think you were doing? <laughs> I knew this day was coming at the moment you chose Garuki as your partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you guys were setting out to your adventure, and you didn't tell me, so now I'm mad at you. So here is the last gift, and you'll be all on our way. A set of camping gear. Thank you for like my $40 camping gear. I do appreciate it so very much. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. 
Of course. Anyway, have fun. Don't take care of yourself. I, I thought this said choke you. Go choke yourself. So I was like, what? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm like, I can't read apparently because, um, yeah, let's not. I would. That would be funny though. There's loads of brilliant Pokemon out there. We got to go get them now. We're off. How about we actually just go back? I think us going back is such a great idea. Modestock is surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. All sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about wherever you look. Oh, I just realized I'm stupid because it's not going to be actually static. So it'd be an encounter anywhere. Isn't this, isn't this the wild area that we're, we stopped here for? This is brilliant. What is? The wild area is massive and loads of Pokemon are there. Oh my gosh, we're going to build the greatest team. Yeah, go find a Garatina and deal with it. We can get you back on Wedge Hurts if you like, but Monostroke is off the menu for now. It'd be very, it wouldn't be very decent of us to try and... I mean, I guess we can go out and figure it out. So that way we can actually, like, just get our encounters, I think. An Ivysaur! I will take that. It's another grass type, which is oof, but it's fine. I will take that. It's sunlight is harsh, so it... This can't be sport. I just thought about that. <laughs> me. Let me just sport real quick. No, that's not how that works, but okay. The sunlight's just strong, so did it have an ability for that, or did I just miss that? Poltergeist, but it failed. Because I don't have an item. Um. Actually, you know what? Sun plus resisted, I can hit a sparkling Arya for sure. Nice! Oh, wow. Okay. I like that ability. And energy ball, we'll take that too. That's like multiple wins. Sand Spit, an interesting Gen 8 ability that works really well and pairs really well with Nidorina. Leaf Blade, that's not even bad either. Jeesh. Jeesh. We love this Ivysaur way too much already. <laughs> 
Um, I actually, because I don't know what capabilities this thing could be throwing at me, I'm going to be careful. Energy ball. That's It's doing a, ch a decent chunk is the problem. Yeah, that's the big problem right there. Um... So it has Poltergeist, which it won't be able to use. I'm gonna go. Into, I'm gonna go into Toronto. And I'm gonna go ahead and Trop Kick. What's your last move? That's the real question. Oh, okay. You're not going to reveal it. So that's probably a good thing. Crit. The sand is gone. Okay, yes. That's what I was hoping for. But the sun is back. So the sun is not... Oh, wait. So the sun wasn't in effect from the uh, Ivysaur then. Come on, Ivysaur. We need you to join the team, buddy. Nice. Okay. Well, there you go. That's the completed team. We have a lot of... We have three grass types, which is going to make for an interesting experience. Tarant wants to learn Confuse Ray. Can Tarant learn Confuse Ray? Is that not one of the things? It is not. Okay. So, I can... Honestly, I'm gonna take it over Strength Sap. Yeah, I think I gotta take it over Strength Sap because Strength Sap doesn't pair well with Trop Kick. And if I ever need Strength Sap or get rid of it, and I was thinking about Strength Sap Leaf Blade and bringing that back, but then I forgot that Leaf Blade was actually from the previous generation, so I fudged that up and lost the opportunity to get Leaf Blade back. I'm going to name you Spoopy. And then in the next episode of this series, we will be taking on um, uh, quite a bit of things, but it will be a while before you guys kind of see what's going on, but we can actually, like, pseudo, we can train now. Oh my goodness. So yeah, so we'll see you guys in the next episode when we do that. But, love you all. Bye!